Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Jamo, and I'm very excited to bring you another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Passport Bro movement and why people wanna be disassociated from it. Um, and the re there's really two reasons why I'm bringing this video is because one, there are some prominent YouTubers within the travel community who are trying to kind of distance themselves from that term. Uh, also, Passport Bros is crazy terminology. You feel me? Like, oh bro, that's, pass that's one of the Passport Bros. So, huh? Because there's a company that wants to sponsor that this video. So guys, let's go ahead and get to that. Guys, as some of you may know, it's pretty easy to find a beautiful chica to help you with your, you know, cooking needs, whether that be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the DR. Uh, but in the U.S., it's not always like... It's interesting, yeah, um, maybe three or four weeks ago, uh, a lady from the Philippines, Fire. she interviewed me. And she asked me, like, you know, what's your definition of a passport, bro? Yo, and first of all, the, the evil eye on the, on the left, that's what I'm on. That's, you feel me? I got to, I mean, my wrist thing, I got to find it, bro. Just know. At the time, I know I gave a very basic answer because, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really think about it that much. But now that I found Yo, yo, you know, Giamo, 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 mad love and respect to you and all that. We came here for the baddies, bro. I don't care about the passport, bro. That's what you into. That's what you into. I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to take a dump on them. I don't care about that. <laughs> Keep showing us the baddies. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, nobody cares. Passport bros, I don't know what they into either, though. So if they into some freakery or some egregious activity, then yeah, you feel me? Distance yourself. I don't, I don't want you getting canceled and all that. You feel me? You got to feed your family. I don't even know if you got a family. Listen, keep it up. But now, I would say, at least personally, my definition Yacht! of a passport bro is a guy who's kind of looking to restore the natural balance between, you know, masculine and feminine energy Probably, in a yeah, relationship. Yeah, I would say so. You know, I think a, a passport bro passport bro could be a guy that is trying to avoid... Straight Thea vibes, you heard? Super Thea. ...avoid Western women who have been influenced by, you know, cultural and societal pressures to behave in a certain way. Right. And, you know... The reason that he seeks out a foreign woman, or foreign women, you know, in his country or out of his country, is because he's, you know, looking to find a more authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationship. That you know he's not able to find with women. She you know, looks. Yeah, that's that's a good definition, my brother. But she looks type annoyed. But from from yo, this country. Why? Yeah. And and you know, I I think that's for me. That's kind of my definition of it and and one thing that is kind of annoying to me at least from what i see on social media and you know this might just be because you know it's within my algorithm or within my bubble on social media is a lot of times people try to pin this passport bro uh culture specifically on black men african-american men which i would say if you do go on social media a lot of, I mean, i've seen other people comment this like they're trying to put it on african -American like PCs are so affordable even a single mother of six could afford one it just seems like passport bro guys are just like black and whatnot. Um, and, you know, I, I do, like I said, I do understand that from the social media perspective. But before you say what he about to say, uh, let's keep it a bean. Europeans or uh, white people or Caucasians, if you want to be politically correct, they have been doing this for years. So it's just now being kind of glorified or like social media is kind of taking a hold to it or people are now... Uh, Putting it on these streaming platforms or these platforms to where now we see it, but it's been going on. Men, white men, white men, uh, whoever, Hispanic men, a lot of people have been going back to these countries and bringing people from over these countries back home or, or, or even staying there. You know what I'm saying? And it's just not, it's not filmed. Now it's just being filmed. So now I guess African Americans will be getting a spotlight. But bro, this has been going on. When that white dude go to like Asia, or something to bring an Asian back, and she's cooking and cleaning, doing all these different things, he's having a family. Well, he could love her and all that. I'm not saying he don't, but bro, this has been going on, man. It's just now it's being kind of glorified in a sense to where it's social. It's, it's um, it's social. It's becoming more socially acceptable because it is being now filmed. And then the you know these conversations that be on Twitter and all these other social media spots be always about this kind of stuff. So now it's kind of just. It's just kind of intertwining into all that this stuff. desire to find something else or find something different, you know, when it comes to relationships. Yo, this pot, yo, the seating is crazy. <laughs> First of all, she holding the door for him is crazy, so there's definitely a cultural difference. The, the way my son is sitting down and the comfortability is crazy. 
I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. No, I don't think it's necessarily just, you know, associated with African Americans. For example, a, uh, a while ago, I saw maybe this is maybe that's a wig. Two or three years ago, I saw a report that in in Sweden. Jesus were... Christ! The yet. Busting out the bendo. I was from jewelry, rhyme like Lambo. I'm with the ride of niggas. The gap made me rap, bro. You sh are you kidding me? The Nyosh. You hear me? You, you hear me? You hear me? The Nyosh is beaming, bro. Growing population of Thai people. Yeah. And why is that? It's because, you know, when Swedish men, when they go on vacation, you know, a lot of times they go to Thailand. And specifically in the report, it said, like, just regular Swedish guys, you know, they, they white. Let me tell y'all, this is natural. You feel me? I'm not in on the women that be getting the bodies done. You feel me? Love yourself and all that. You heard? I'm, I'm, <clears throat> this might give me, this clip is going to come up, I know, years later, and they're not even going to implement this. For the women that are being influenced by the BBW epidemic, man, just know, man, if your body has not, you not let your body fully, especially these young women, y'all not let your body fully, fully develop. Y'all have not grown fully into the body to even allow this kind of, you feel me, this to, to, to occur, one. Secondly, bro, secondly, I understand, you feel me, it's kind of normalized now, but yo, give it some time, work out, do other alternatives. Y'all just skip, a lot of y'all are just skipping. Steps and just going, I'm gonna go to BR, I'm gonna go to Columbia, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here to get my body done for the three to five K. I get it, it's a good job, but yo, this is maintenance on your body, bro. This is life altering. Things can happen. You know what I mean? What is the example you set it for your daughter, your niece, your nephews? You feel me? Now, if, if, if you have a child, and I get it, you know, I'm, I'm very understanding. Your body can mold and, and things can drop and all that. Understand if you want to get a little, a little. Reconstruction, you know what I'm saying, and, and and get back to where you are. I understand that, but I just feeling like the the women who are easily influenced that probably have decent good bodies, or even could do a little, co not even cosmetics, a little to themselves, and 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 boost that. And please, man, this should be the le the very last step. If you've done everything else, and then this is con this has to be the very last one. This should not be the first option. It should be the last option. That show can kill you. Like, literally, bro. Like, I get it. But, nah, man. At the, at the cost of your health, y'all gotta... Safe up a Thai this... lady. Woo. And, you know, bring her back to Sweden. Uh, Which is why... You White know, men do it with Asian women. Like, it, it happens, brother. The population of Thais are increasing there. Yeah, and, you know, bro. and so, and the reason I bring that up is just to say that this... First of all, this scenery, too, is crazy. I don't know where they at, but this is beautiful. Her, scenery... Me, and look, sport bro, <laughs> movie, the desire to find something, to f the, the desire to find that kind of authentic, fulfilling, and more harmonious relationship is not just within, you know, black guys. It's this not. is an international my thing. Son G, my son, my CG, and my, talk, talk that bit, man, talk it, uh -uh. you feel me? They try, they always try to do that, you feel me? Talk to them, though, let them know, uh, it's educated, brother. A globalized world, and you know, obviously that means globalized in business, globalized in government, but also globalized in relationships. And I think you're just going to continue to see... Whoa, what is this in the background? And he's like a band in the face in the hair. It's crazy. He's got the glasses on. Is this Sheen? Nah, it's not even... She's making regular... She's making regular sweats look good, bro. Feel me? No BB. You know what I mean? No Givenchy. You know what I mean? Very, very regular Amazon sweats. Combo. With the Jesus slides on, feet done. That's it. That's all you need, man. You don't need a whole lot, ladies. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> um, these type of patterns, whether that be with you know guys in Sweden, whether that be with you know African American guys going to Latin American countries, or you know what have you, it's going to continue to. Nah, be that my way. son is not pulling up on another joint. You know. Now I will say that you know earlier I talked about why some. You know, prominent YouTubers are trying to disassociate from that term passport, yeah, wow, bro. Because it is uh, unfortunate, and this is really with anything, you're always going to have the good and you're always going to have the bad. Right. Like I said, the good part of this kind of the passport, bro, movement is guys trying to make their own choices, you know, make their own decisions, not being 
you know, boxed into just having to choose, um, or in, in, you know, in my case or in this case, you know, American women. Not saying that that's a bad choice, but if, the, right. if that's the choice that you, if that's not the man, choice you want a plethora, to make, man. F that, man. You want a plethora of joints. You heard? You feel me? You want a full spread. Long story short, we don't. Excuse me. They don't want to be put in the box. They want to be able to be free and outside the body. They can go outside the box. They can go inside the box. They go around the box. You feel me? Women, women. If there are more women in this world and in this life, there will be more women in this lifetime than you will meet men. Like it's just the facts. Women out. The number of the number of women out uh, uh outdoes men. You know what I mean? As far as on the population scale, so of course we're gonna we want to see all the plethora, all God given. You feel me? That's it. We just want to see what God got to offer out here. You feel me? What He blessed us with, what He put on this earth for us to to to. You feel me? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna violate. I, ain't, I can't do too much. But yeah. Then you know, being able to have that option to go abroad, you know, is a great thing. I think that's. That's awesome. That's amazing. I think anybody should be happy for that. Facts. You know, but unfortunately, like I said, there's always good, and bad. good with the bad. I think um, <laughs> sometimes go. there's, you know, there's Ying just yang. mongering and whatnot. There's people who exploit, you know, when for they sure. go abroad. For sure. And unfortunately, <laughs> typically, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, if you're a, you know, a YouTuber and you do show some, some chicas or you show some ladies that are kind of hot, in your videos, people are very quick to to think that you're like trying to exploit, uh, you know, ladies are tr trying to exploit foreign women. Are you trying to, you know, um, yeah? I mean, mostly uh, that's probably the word I would use to trying to take advantage of exploit. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and I think that I is know what you're saying, my brother. Unfortunate. I, I think a lot of, I mean, not to say that there there are definitely some people, you know, on social, some guys on social media who who would. Uh, yo yo yo. There are some people out there who the women there will try to exploit you. It's just, it's just it's a give or take, man. Like it's just how it is sometimes, brother. Like you feel me? I get what he's saying though. Is he are you a pastor? In that way. Now I do understand why some people would put me in that category, and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely, when it comes to the ladies, the chicas, obviously I, I have I have way more good times, we'll say, in the DR compared to US. <laughs> There's, there's no doubt, no doubt about that. But I think the reason why I've never really thought about myself in that, you know, put myself in that category or thought of myself like that is just because there are there's so many more reasons why uh, I love, you know, living in DR. I love being in the DR. Um, yeah, because like for it was interesting. I was uh, driving, oh no, I was riding in the car with uh, Cerise, who's a girl from one of the videos, and um, she was driving like really crazy one day, like like as if she was you know had a moto, but she's in a car, <laughs> which. Uh, driving crazy is not uncommon in, in the DR if you if you haven't been here. But anyways, um, it, it just got me thinking of how like I think you know in the U.S. you know there are more like, like opportunities when it comes to jobs or like business and what have you. Uh, but I think I just feel like there's a lot more eyes on you. I feel like the the rules are just are more strictly enforced. Everything is just kind of enforced in a stricter way. But sometimes it's difficult to just be. You know, it's difficult to just. You know, I you know that's it for that money. I, I I can't really listen to too too much of that. You, you feel me? It's good and bad, brother. Respect, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I salute it. Love, brother. Uh, don't be out there exploiting the joints. You heard, man. Show love. You know what I'm saying. Be respectful. Give back to the community and all that. You know what I mean? Disassociate yourself with all that. Where um, keep doing what you're doing, man. Cause I'm loving it. <laughs> Long story short. My brother, listen, what you're doing is inspirational. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> me very soon, brother. So, yeah, just don't don't exploit the joints, man. Take care of them. You know what I'm saying? Show love. Put them on the right path. Don't be violating or nothing like that. Committing uh, egregious acts or nothing like that. Yeah, some of the past four brothers be wigging. I be seeing a couple of videos. I rock with you. My son, uh, uh, Juno, that's the name. My son, Juno, put me on. You heard? Showing respect and all that. Uh... So don't disappoint. <laughs> you feel me? You disappoint, niggas ain't gonna be able to rock with you no more. And, and I don't want that for you. You feel me? I support her. Mad love to you and all that. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Juno, mad love. I don't even know you. <laughs> but I appreciate you for even putting me on to my son, Giamani. Uh, G G excuse me. I may pronounce his butchered your name. I don't mean that. DR, where's that, though, family? Y'all go, go copy our tickets. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Word.